Also, the fact that I said I was freshly 18, which is something a lot of people are mad about, when in reality, I was 18 and five months old. My bad. Now, if you guys are unfamiliar with the situation, a creator named Katie Bugs accused a big Minecrafter named George Not Found of S.A. and touching her inappropriately. She came out with a whole Harry Potter fan fiction over here. She wrote out a whole 10th grader creative writing essay, and then she read it out on stream while making herself cry. Now, initially, everybody was just blindly supporting her because that's how Twitter works. Believe all victims, believe all women, even women who are not victims and are clearly just making shit up. But then George responded two separate times in videos, and then people realized that this was literally a normal situation where two normal people were cuddling for an hour straight at a party, and they were both drunk and then George finally decided to make a move and touch her stomach. And uh, Katie Bug said literally nothing in the moment, in fact, even smiling and giggling and enjoying it. And then even after that, the days and weeks after, she was completely fine with it. And then several months later, she now regrets it as her first intimate experience with someone being George not found, and now is branding it as assault. Now, uh, pretty much everybody turned on her, and nobody believes her anymore. So uh, in order to get people back on her side again, she came out with another one hour long stream where she changed the allegations completely and uh now she's saying that george fondled her chest you know grabbed her tits and much more um and very interesting how and this was never mentioned initially it would be uh, a very important detail in an sa case i would feel that he grabbed your literal melons but uh, of course, she left that out the first time, guys. She was just seeing how the audience responded to the story and then changed it as it goes. This is going to be really long. I went through an hour of footage for this man. Please subscribe. Hey, is everyone uh, here now? Hopefully. Maybe. Okay, she's already very happy about this. We can see that she's raring, excited to destroy George Not Found over here once again. The one biggest thing that I want to clear up... It is fucking sexual assault, okay? I'm not gonna apologize, say that it isn't sexual assault, that I'm not a sexual assault victim. The touching that he has admitted, has admitted to many times, this touching that he admitted to not asking or getting my consent before he did, he felt up my tits on a couch with other people there. He stuck his hand up my shirt, under my bra, and felt up fondled, whatever you want to say. He felt up my tits. Unwanted sexual touch is literally in the definition of sexual assault. It's fucking sexual assault, and I'm never going to apologize for saying it is, okay? Okay, so if you guys remember the initial allegation, she left it extremely, extremely vague. She basically said that, oh, we were cuddling at a party, and then he touched me in places that I didn't want to be touched, right? In horrible places. And obviously, that that would imply that she got touched in her private parts, okay? Because that's, that's obviously a, a horrible place to be touched, and that would make George look really bad because that's crazy you know you can't just go from cuddling to instantly just sticking your hand down there in front of other people in a party okay that's that's weird of course so she purposely left it vague and then said oh he touched my stomach or whatever and you know some tickling drama or whatever but now how is she so clear she's like oh he grabbed my tits he just, he just grabbed my tits like why wouldn't you say it exactly like that before why are you so so confident now what is the deal with that you you can, dude, you cannot be changing your story and get such important details wrong in your response, okay? Uh, it isn't fake allegations. It's not fake allegations. I'm not a liar. Hi, Quite literally, the thing that I was talking about is my sexual assault. And that's the one thing he confirmed. He can sit there and confirm that he did it. And I'm still sat here getting called a liar, getting called... A fake victim. Okay, first off, he didn't actually confirm it. He just confirmed that you both were there and then some of these things did actually happen. You were both at the party, blah, blah, blah. He was clarifying a lot of details. He even said you lied about a lot of stuff. That does not mean that he admitted it. Can I just say, she's also so theatrical with this whole thing, extremely dramatic with literally everything. It's kind of like she's making a whole movie here and making sure that all the attention is on her. Also, I wanted to address that 
previous part about verbal consent. You can't ask for verbal consent for literally everything. The only people that think this is a thing is like terminally online weirdos on Twitter who think that before doing every single thing in life, you have to ask, uh, you know, specific permission for that thing. That's not how real life works, okay? The consent you gave is that is when you're laughing, when you're enjoying yourself, when you're smiling, when you're cuddling with him with for an hour, when you're going, when you're staying alone with him, that is all the consent you're giving repeatedly through the hours over there, okay? Now, that's not consent to, you know, go all the way or whatever, but to touch you, yes, it is absolutely consent. Come on. Also, I, can I just say, I hate this bullshit with the paralysis and the puppy dog bullshit. Like, you're a full-grown woman. You're 18 plus. If you don't like something, open your yapping ass mouth. You can you can talk for two hour long streams over here. You're an internet creator, but you can't, you can't say one word. You can't say no. You can't like literally open your mouth to tell the guy who's attempting to touch you, who's cuddling with you for an hour and you were talking with him for an hour. You can't say the word no. You can't even like pretend to go to the bathroom, nothing. You just have to like sit there as if he like turned off your off switch or something. That's not like, that's bullshit, okay? You don't get to change your story several months later this is just criminal behavior you were only doing this because you regret the experience and that is not being a victim no he didn't ask if i wanted it uh but somehow you know he had enough energy to ask the question are you ticklish which i responded with no i'm not fucking ticklish uh and that's what led to him feeling up my tits okay so asking are you ticklish I'm pretty sure that is probably the most normal, flirty way to escalate a situation into a, a more intimate thing. The only crime I see here is the cringiness of this actually being aired online. Of course, it's very cringy to talk about it, but that's kind of how it goes in real life. Like, I don't see any essay over here, and this is actually just pathetic compared to what actual other people go through. Like, if you, if you look at some of the stories of people posting in the comments and stuff, it, it's crazy, okay? Like, uh, what actually actual victims of assault go through this is this is literally just tickle gate okay tickle drama tickle monster drama he will never understand uh that feeling when i realized this wasn't just a bunch of people hanging out on a couch together a bunch of friends hanging out when it was inherently a sexual thing and that instead of just a bunch of friends on a couch together i was being wanted for my body um no he would have never felt my uncomfort because he was too busy feeling something else that night. Oh my god. This is this is poetry here, right, guys? This is how long do you think she scripted that one up, you know? He was too busy feeling something else that night. Honestly, she she's Shakespearean, honestly. You should write a play. That is that is impressive. Also, that is so disingenuous. You thought it was friends hanging out on a couch. Are you kidding me? You're cuddling for an hour straight. What do you mean? You're at a party. You're drunk. Like, this is literally exactly what you wanted to do. You're one of his, you know, female creator fan stands or whatever, and you're getting close with your idol over here. This is exactly what you wanted. I don't, I don't understand how you can twist this. Okay, people saying I'm trying to ruin a man's career because he tickled me. Or, like, or especially he did not me either like it's it's so important to hear what i'm saying okay you knew exactly what you were doing this is exactly what you were trying to do you were trying to ru ruin his career you sp you even said specifically it like pretty paraphrased i don't know her exact words but you said you wanted his career ruined as well okay so let's not act like this is only for sharing my story this is all about me 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 no this is all about george okay this is all about you wanting to ruin this guy's career and she gets to this part later in the video as well which we'll talk about where she says this is this is all about idol obsession and you know my being a minecraft stan and everything this is the only kind of like response thing i'm gonna give uh i will acknowledge that was a complete miscommunication there's a screenshot i said was from his friend that wasn't there for the assault mentioned our ages and acknowledged you know the situation was weird it's a real screenshot. What I got wrong and what was miscommunicated was who it was from. It was actually from instead of the guy who left or wasn't there for the assault, it was from the girl who wasn't there for the assault, um, which I acknowledge is frustrating that I got that wrong. And I didn't realize I got it wrong 
until after I posted it. Question guys, isn't it really, really important to not get details wrong when you're trying to cover such a sensitive story and share your experience? If you want to be believed as a victim, okay, you cannot get, you cannot afford to get a single detail wrong because then what you are is a liar, a manipulator trying to manipulate the story. You were so careless with this thing. You wanted cloud clearly. You went up on a freaking stream over here. This is, this is a man's life you're playing with. This isn't like joking Minecraft drama over here. It's actually crazy. Also the fact that I said I was freshly 18 which is something a lot of people are mad about, when in reality, I was 18 and five months old. My bad. Uh, what I meant to say in that original stream where I said I was freshly 18, I said I was freshly 18 and just out of high school. What I meant to say was I was 18 and freshly out of high school. I just put it in front of the wrong thing. Okay, you're just lying. Come on, that is not what you wanted to say. You said freshly 18 to paint him as a pedo. Okay, you knew exactly what you were doing. You are a lying bitch. It's crazy. You keep changing the details of the story. You didn't mean to say freshly out of high school instead of freshly 18. That is, how do you even mess that up? That is out of high school versus the word 18. That's completely different words. <laughs> You cannot mess that up. And the reality is you didn't mess it up. You said what you said. You said freshly 18 because you didn't want to take any responsibility for your actions as a human being, as a grown adult, and as a person who regrets their actions now. You just wanted to paint him as another child toucher, okay? And freshly 18 is so disingenuous. You're a full grown adult. You can consent. There's nothing wrong with it, okay? What did he not consent to? I would like to make it clear. There was no reciprocation in any sexual act. The sexual act that happened was not reciprocated. The only thing he could have not consented to was him putting his own hand on my tits. Well, I'm pretty sure he didn't consent to you leaking this entire story over here on the internet, making it drama over here and nearly ruining his entire life, getting his friends and family to probably question his character and doing pretty much irreparable damage to his career. And let's just get this, get this thing sorted with men and women being drunk over here. Okay. So let's, let's go over the story. You cuddled for a whole hour. Both of you were drunk. Okay. And you even lied about the drinking. You said you were drunk before coming to the place and then they forced you to drink more and then it was confirmed by one of your friends that you were lying and that you weren't drunk before and then you only drank at the party so in fact he was probably more drunk than you and somehow only he could consent and you couldn't if this was the other way around some would some people would say you took advantage of a drunk man to get close to him while he was vulnerable and drunk over here and not not in his right mind right that's possible because how is it fair when both parties are drunk the guy and the girl somehow the guy can always consent the guy is in his full mind. He knows exactly what he's doing, right? And Miss Freshly 18 here is always just a victim. Like, that doesn't make any sense to me. If both parties are drunk, none of them can consent. Because, like, that's bullshit. That's, that's a bullshit double standard. It's not like alcohol affects females more than males. That's just dumb. It equally impairs both your cognition. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. I cry on my stream because I'm scared and I'm talking about my assault. I cry and then I'm told I'm embarrassing, that I'm doing it for attention, that I'm a pick me, that I'm dramatic. But if I sat there and I didn't cry, I know I would have been called a liar, soulless, heartless, you know, a sociopath. You can't do anything right in these situations and it's f***ing insane. Wait a minute, she said if I sat there and I didn't cry, is that is that an admission that you sort of faked the crying to seem more believable? I don't know man, I've seen too many girls on the internet fake their crying for to get their attention. Now there's the other possibility of like just making yourself cry, right? You know, it's very easy to make yourself cry, just put a bunch of thoughts in your head, you can force a cry, okay? You're a professional actress over here. Now the reason the reason people didn't believe you is because of how absolutely fake you sounded during the crying. It just didn't seem sincere. It seemed like you twisted the situation, keeping details from everybody. I don't know. I, I do not trust her. For people saying take legal action, do you know the odds of winning an assault case? Like, there's a reason. There's a, one out of three girls are assaulted in their lives, okay? There's a reason so many of them don't come out about this. The system, you would like to believe that it's always for you. The amount of fucking injustice that happens with our system is insane.
It's absolutely insane. And you sit here and see someone come out about their story and your immediate thing is, well, take it up with the law. Like that will serve any justice. Well, she got one thing right. Uh, the reason victims aren't believed is actually because of people like you. People like you coming out with false stories of assault over here. Now, I don't know about the statistics she's talking about or whatever, but it's crazy how oblivious she actually is. The reason people don't believe actual victims of assault is because of clout-hungry goblins such as yourself who just lie about people and make them look bad for attention. Like, I, I can't believe how completely oblivious she is here and not realizing that she is part of the problem completely. And the fact that if I have inconsistencies in my story, which I do, and I'm not gonna say I don't. I'm like remembering the night of my assault, and I'm sorry, but the thing that I really remembered is the assault. I didn't remember, you know, like if a person who wasn't there for the assault left at a certain time. I'm, I remembered my assault. I will acknowledge that there are inconsistencies, but when I have inconsistencies in my story and I address them and I acknowledge it, my whole story's out. It's in the trash, and I'm seen as a liar. Yeah, you. <laughs> well, well, she says the word inconsistency. It's like it's not a big deal. Yeah, in court, it's literally called falsifying your story and providing wrong or false evidence, which is literally a crime over here. You know what? What happened to the nothing but the truth? I will speak only the truth, but nothing but the truth. Like, dude, the problem with so many inconsistencies, which you're admitting to, this is just horrible for you, is that you cannot trust a liar. That's the thing. If if you're lying about all these little things, you might be lying about the big things as well. That is why people don't trust liars, especially in important situation. This isn't something that's like insignificant that you're lying about to avoid embarrassment or anything. This is literally a, a, a man's whole life. He says we cuddled and people are like, you can't get mad at what he did to you because you were lying on top of him and all up on him before it happened. I wasn't. We were on a couch sitting sitting up sitting up we were all on a couch everything and anything you could consider cuddling i saw that as a friendly like drunk what you do with your friends i was doing it with my best friend that was right next to me as well you know um and again i believed we any you, touches KT. were more initiated by him but again that's just hearsay i believe the touches were initiated by him but that's just hearsay that just tells me that she was initiating the touches too which is actually very absurd because usually in in most cases the touch is initiated by the guy because that's how the world freaking works okay that's a, one of the expectations over there and also let's let's not act completely dumb here if you cuddle your drunk friend for one hour at a party of the opposite sex and you're getting all touchy-feely over here that is not friendship that is clearly a sign you want things to escalate okay and at this point i'm half expecting her to say that oh uh you know i just uh i thought he platonically stuck his pee, -pee inside me I, uh, we're just friends of course it was it was platonic obviously like at what point <laughs> is it no longer a friendship you're literally just on on top of each other over here like i do not get this man that's crazy and i and i've seen like other cases of people just being completely and utterly oblivious over here like any sort of like physical touch especially for like hours and hours and hours that's clearly a sign that somebody at least wants this to escalate it's not even the kind of following that i want you know uh people following me because i'm a victim people following me uh because of this situation it 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 just further defines me you know i of course i love the support and that isn't me not acknowledging how grateful I am. Uh, but again, obviously the bad attention's bad, but even the good atten attention, um, it's, it's not even what I would want. Okay, so here she kind of slips up. She sort of soft admits that she's boosting her own following because of this drama. And then sort of like backtracks over there saying, oh, I don't actually want this attention over here. Like, because it's like, uh, it's not the type of attention I want. I don't want to be followed because I'm a victim. I want to be followed for my awesome talents, like uh, faking crying, apparently. Now, of course you wanted this attention. This is actually a universal fact that I've uh, discovered on my channel on the last five to six years. Also, 
also known as the term I've coined clout disease. For some reason, okay, nowadays, human beings love attention so much they will do absolutely anything for it. I've seen people give up their morality, literally give up their family, their, their friends, even money. People will give up money for a drop of clout. It is addicting. It is like crack cocaine. The, the likes on your tweet, the views on your stream and your in your videos. I'm telling you, as, as someone who knows influencers and everything, she is getting off on this, okay? It's a, it's a high like a no other over here. Also, I just like to let you guys know that she said the F word at least over 200 times this one stream, and it's absolutely crazy. This is going to be a nightmare to edit. Again, my story is about consent, but these are really important to... These will explain my thought process, just the way things played out, Katie uh, the Hart, age Katie gap. Hart, yes, Katie it's important Hart, to know. Uh, again, not freshly 18, freshly out of high school. Dude, look at how completely unserious this is. There is a literal sub count on the screen. 206 out of 170. She broke her sub count record, guys. And that's like $5 per sub or something on Twitch or something. So it's like, oh, give me money for my story over here. And you know, you, you've got the follower count over there. You've gained so many followers from this situation. You're up at like 200,000 right now. The donations are active with text to speech as well. Like you totally milking this for attention and revenue and that is blatantly obvious over here couldn't you make like a video about this and lay your thoughts out properly instead of i don't know making this sort of stream with people actually commenting it, that, that's so weird that's absolutely absurd no real victim would air their story out this way especially with tts going dude what the fuck? it doesn't matter if you're laughing it doesn't matter what you're wearing it doesn't matter where you are that is not an invitation um, and for everyone saying, well, you could have gave nonverbal consent. I will tell you right now, if I was given the opportunity to give even nonverbal consent, my answer would have always been no. I'm asexual. What? Oh my God. <laughs> I'm asexual, guys. I'm going to lose my absolute mind over here. Of course, Looney Tunes over here is an ace, guys. Of course. Then why? Explain to me why are you cuddling with a guy all night? who is clearly interested in you for hours and hours. If you're so ace over here, if you're so uninterested in this guy and any sort of advances over here, of course she's going to bring up her freaking alphabet soup bullshit when it's just not relevant at all. She's part of the Minecraft community, guys. She's totally a Z-Zimzer, terrestrialized, mega evolved Pokemon. Listen, it wouldn't matter if you were a flippin' Mewtwo, okay? It wouldn't if you identified as a Ho-Oh, as a Lugia over here. It would not make a difference. You absolute blundering baboon. Also, that first part of it doesn't matter if you're laughing, doesn't matter what you're wearing, it doesn't matter where you are. Okay, what if you're wearing absolutely nothing on the bed and you're laughing and you're signaling the guy to come get some? Of course it matters, you absolute donut. You absolute imbecile. Jesus Christ, bro, I'm done. I don't like sexual stuff. Given the option of doing something sexual, my answer is going to be no. I'm on the spectrum of asexual, which I don't know if it's because of my bad experiences, but anything sexual makes me extremely uncomfortable. Bring in the asteroids, guys. I can't do it anymore. What do you mean you're ace, man? I can't, I can't, I can't, bro. Oh, okay, listen, this video is too long. I am giving over the rights to the comment section. I give you guys full autonomy to absolutely cook her, okay? In this comment section, of course. I'm gonna need the best roast possible. I will be reading the comment section all night. Uh, it's gonna be a good time. All right, and I want to see the best, uh, best jokes you possibly have here. The reason I brought up this entire situation and what I was, I was hoping to bring light to, this wasn't about, this wasn't about him. This wasn't about him. I was trying to bring light to blind idolization. How dangerous it is coming from someone who was a viewer. What? What? It wasn't about him. Oh my God, I'm gonna... <coughs> I'm dying here, guys. I don't know what, how high-pitched my voice went there, but this wasn't about him. You did it. Who was it about? <laughs> I'm done, guys. This was about blind idolization. This was actually about Minecraft stain culture and how, how harmful and parasocial it is. What are you on about? You nearly took down a 10 billion sub YouTuber streamer here, dog. You were talking about really, really bad stuff, and now you're saying it's about parasocial relationships in the Minecraft community. Are all of these people actually 
actually our word. Okay, I, I would say the word. It's just we're on YouTube. I gotta, gotta be, uh, yeah. Are these people actually mentally incap incapacitated? That's, that's another w way to say the word. Of course it was about him, you absolute, uh, dipshit. People saying I probably liked it. And now I just regret it. I didn't. I'm telling you, I didn't. I, I don't know how loud I have to shout it. And again, I'm asexual. I would have never liked it and then regretted it. I would have never liked it to begin with. I'm trying to tell you this. Okay, guys, listen, I'm not familiar with the helicopter community anymore. I feel like there's too much, uh, too many, too many forms over here. Like, it's kind of like Pokemon. They started with Mega Evolution. Now they got Terastalizing. They got Z-Move. They got all of this bullshit. They got 500 more Pokemon. Like, the, the, the alphabet community expanding more, more than that at this point, okay? I don't, I can't keep up if ace people are actually, like, I don't know, comfortable with that. I, I, I don't know, okay? But... I think the moral of the story here is that she's ace, guys, and she wants you to know that that's very important. That is a key detail that definitely matters so much in this situation. I'm ace, guys. I don't like the touchy touchy. Nobody cares, you absolute joke to the ligbit community. You're a joke. You're a joke. Pathetic. Absolutely pathetic. Here's what the comments are saying. This is someone in desperate need of new friends. Shame on anyone in her circle encouraging this. This girl is pissing me off already with her bullshit and mockery towards her as an essay survivor. But actually, I'm part of the ace community. George needs to take legal action. I'm being so serious right now. She's so comically theatrical. Oh my God, this person said the same thing I said. Why is she adding so much new info? This is a clear sign of lying. How she never disproves anything about what George said. Hope her career is over. How is asexuality relevant to this? Honestly, liar, liar, pants for hire. Listen, guys, she's a, she's she's bullshitting. Come on, let's, let, let's be honest here. I don't believe a word she says. Anyways, this video is probably really long. Okay, I'm ending it there. That's it. Bye, guys.